Hey, this is Chan, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video showing the A6 Techo from Hobonichi, their Weeks book, and their A5 book. Um, this year I decided to get all three, which is kind of nuts, but uh, I'm going to be using them in different ways. Um, and since I bought them, I just thought it would be a good opportunity to show the similarities and the differences between them, um, between the different formats, and I hope that maybe this will help, you know, I don't know, one person out there who uh, is not sure which one to get if they're considering a Hobonichi. So, um, let's start with the sizes of them. This one is a little over four inches wide. This is an A6, and it's almost six inches tall. And the Weeks book is almost 3.75 inches wide, and it's almost seven and a half inches tall. And the A5 is a little over 5.75 inches wide, and eight and a quarter inches tall. Right, and just to show you the thickness of them. And I think, I don't know if I'm just imagining this, but I believe that the, it does feel like the A5 cover is thicker and sturdier than the A6. And the A6 cover is just a little thicker, I think. Which I'm really glad about because this is the, um, the cover that I bought for my A5, which is like a, like a sweater. <laughs> it's a knit one, which I love. Um, but it doesn't have the same firmness that some of the other uh, other covers have, so I think this will to have a thicker cover would really help. All right, so let's see here. All right, so I'm not sure if my camera will pick up on the color, but the A6 and the A5 have white paper. Now, this is Tomoe River paper, which I, I love that paper. And the Weeks book has a very light cream colored paper. Right? And all three start off with the yearly calendar. So you get 2016, 2017, and 2018. The yearly calendar there. And then it starts off with this sort of a monthly view kind of. Each column here is a month. And then they have these the days listed here, right? So you can make, you know, quick little notes there. And then there's some memo space at the bottom. And the six has the same thing. Each column is a month and then the days, but they don't have the memo space at the bottom. This one here, they've got the full year. So the A5 has six months on, or three months to a page. So six months in the two page spread. And then the A6 has four months to a two-page spread, right? This one here, they, they did the whole year on a two-page spread. So I don't think I'm gonna be using these pages just because the um, the spaces are really, really small. And I, I just, I can't really write anything that small. So I probably won't be using these pages here. All right, so then we go into the monthly view and each book, a second, each book starts in, for the monthly view, each book starts December, 2016. And each book, if I remember correctly, each book goes to March 2018 for the monthly view. Yep, March 2018. March 2018. Just want to make sure I'm giving you the right info. Yep, March 2018. And March 2018. So Hopefully you can see kind of the size difference of how much room we have to decorate. Um, I bought these Hobonichi stickers uh, with my last order. And these are sort of like vellumish stickers. And they fit in the monthly boxes of the A6 horizontally like that. And they fit in the week's book vertically. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then this one here, I actually get to use this one a little bit earlier, which is awesome. Um, this one, they give you, it starts uh, at the very end of November. So you get the last three days of November, 2016, and then you get the full month of December, and then it goes to the end of 2017. Right? So I get to use this one a little bit earlier, which is great. And I really like the, the format of this. Um, they've got one week on one side with a section for each day. 
And then they've got this uh, graph memo paper on the other side. So I'm going to be using this for my cat's records, uh, just keeping track of how he's doing. So I'm going to be making notes and um, keeping track of his medications each day on this side. And then here I can draw him and write little stories about him, <laughs> about the funny stuff he does. Um, so I really like the format of this to have things laid out like this. I really, I really do like this. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is my first time getting the Weeks book and my first time getting the A5. Um, before I was using the A6, which I love, but I just thought it'd be fun to... Well, I wanted to get the A5 to have more room space to write. And I thought it'd be fun to try this one because I love cats. <laughs> so I had to get this. Alright, so... That's the way this one goes, and this one has ribbon bookmarks in there. Um, okay, so that one has the weekly view like that. And then with the A6 and the A5... Oh, I forgot to mention this. The A5 has this, which is a weekly view. You get one week on a two-page spread. I really like this um, because I use my uh, A6 Techo more as a journal and not really as a planner, but with the A5, I kind of get both. <laughs> you know, I get the, the pages, the individual daily pages for my journal, uh, for my journaling, and then I get the weekly view for my planner stuff, because I really do like having stuff in a weekly view. Um, I don't, I typically don't really use a monthly view that much, to be truthful, but I, I do really like having a weekly view, so this is awesome to have this. Um, each day has a nice amount of space, and then you get some uh, space to jot down other little notes there. So. The weekly view in the A5 starts on the last week of December, and then yeah, all the way. I'm pretty sure it just goes to the end of 2017. I don't think there's any extra, but I just want to make sure. Yep, it goes right to the end of December. Right? So the A6 does not have that. The A6 doesn't have this weekly view. Um, then. This one has turning the page to a new year. You get two pages of just graph paper for notes, memos, or any kind of thoughts that you might have. And then the A6 has the same thing. I don't think the Weeks doesn't have that. The Weeks doesn't have this part. And then we go into the daily view, which I love. All right, so with the daily view, we start off with a remember this page. And this one looks a little different from the current one. Let me just grab mine. So here's the current one. You can see that the new one has this coloring at the top there, and also the lines are a little bit bolder. Um, the journaling lines are a little bolder on there. So I got the Japanese version of the A6 again. Um, I just think the Japanese version is charming. I, I really like it. Um, even though I can't read the quotes, I just think it's charming. Uh, and I really like how the colors are different for each month. You can see that. Same thing in the A6. And then you can see the colors down the side too. So if you want to just flip to, you know, May, you know, that's cool. And each of these, the A5 and the A6 uh, daily pages go until the very end of uh, December 2017. Um, there's no extra. And then they go into the memo pages. So um, in the A5, you don't get as many of the memo pages, but I think that's just because they had a lot of those weekly pages before, right? So this one's just not going to have as many memo sheets at the back. And then this one here has a little bit more memo sheets. This one here, the weeks, has the most amount of memo sheets, and this because this one doesn't have the um, this one doesn't have the daily pages, right? So they gave a generous amount of memo sheets at the back. And I like how they did this. They uh, kind of have this table of contents for you. <laughs> so they have 72 pages of memo paper, uh, memo sheets, and then they have, you know, a column for page and subject. And then at the bottom of every page, all these memo pages anyways, they have these tiny little numbers. So, you know, you can write your thoughts about certain things. Like, say I, you know, write a story about Humble, I just say, you know, page 11, Humble story. <laughs> like, I just think that's kind of cute, right? So there you get a generous amount of memo pages. And then we go into these guides. They're all written in Japanese, so I can't read them. Um, these two here have a timetable. And then graph paper and graph paper. 
And then favorites, this one has, um, the A5 has this one page for favorites where you can rate your movies that you've seen or books you've read or restaurants you've been to. And then the A6 has also the favorites as well, but um, you get more pages of them. Uh, the A or the weeks doesn't have the favorites section. And then the A5 and the A6 have this part. It says my 100. And I don't know what it says underneath there. It's in Japanese. I'm not sure what it says. But I guess you could just list 100 of something. <laughs> all right. So all three have this guide here. And all three have this one as well. Um, I can't read any of this stuff because it's in Japanese. But when I was reading the description online, I think it said something about... Um, interaction with cats and dogs. So it's some kind of uh, some kind of guide for interacting with animals, which is awesome. And there's more guides here. I think there was one thing here. That's this one. There's a gifts page in the A5. So you can record gifts that you've given and received. And then the A6 also has that. I think there's some sort of first aid guide as well. And then there's like a conversion chart. And then here's a gifts page on in the A6. This one, I don't think, if I remember right, I don't think it has the gifts page. No, it doesn't. But it has some of the same guides though. And then favorites. So this one has, this is the A5, and it has the addresses for four people. It's funny because this is the biggest one, but it has the smallest amount for addresses. And the A6 has uh, addresses for six people. And then the Weeks has addresses for, or contact info for six people as well. Right. And that's it. And there's some other stuff like links, personal notes. There you go. All right. So... Once you put the book, well, this one just comes like this. I'm actually considering uh, getting the clear cover because as you can see, the three covers that I bought are all fabric covers. Um, so basically there's a lot of opportunity here for me to just ruin them with my, <laughs> because I'm a crafter, right? So I, I, a lot of times I have ink and glue and stuff on my hands and um, I, I'm kind of concerned about getting these dirty, but I mean, I know they're going to get dirty, so I just have to just be cool with that, right? But um, this one, I can get a clear cover for it uh, to protect the cats, you know? So I'm, I'm probably going to do that. Um, I couldn't remember in my last video why they said that you shouldn't use the clear cover on this. And the, I did check and uh, it said that the materials used on this cover are a little bit thicker. Um, so it might not fit in the clear cover and they just don't want you to try to force it into the clear cover because then you might damage it. Um, and they also said that these stripes are silk printed, silk screened onto there. And if these... Uh, keep coming into contact with the clear plastic cover, the, the print might actually stick to the, um, the clear plastic and then it might come off. So that's why they recommend not using the clear cover with this. Um, so now I just wanted to show you, you know, if you put the book in there, I want to show you the size comparison once it's in the cover. Oh, I should mention that the week's book comes with this railway map of Japan and also this little pocket that you can uh, stick into the back cover. But I'm actually not going to be using this um, in my weeks because I'm going to be getting the clear cover to protect the cats. <laughs> and I believe that the clear cover has a pocket already that's uh, part of it. So I'll probably just save this for something else. All right, so let's put the A5 in the cover. Custom sweater for my Hobonichi. Alright, so they're in their covers now, and you can see this one has these cute little tassel bookmarks, which I think are so much fun. I just love these. <laughs> and then this one here also has tassel bookmarks. Love. And this one has little ribbon bookmarks, but I'm probably going to be using one of my cat bookmarks with this one. Um, this is called Meow Meow Meow, by the way, which I think is so cute. And this one's called Ukrainian Flowers, and this one's called Knit Up Line. Alright, so I just wanted to show how they compare size-wise once they're in their covers. So there you can see how they compare. Okay, and then here is the weeks. Alright, so there you have it. There's my video for today. Um, thanks for watching, and... 
Hope to see you next time. All right, bye.